Hi there, this is Ranjit and last week I made a video on the MediaTek Helio P60 chipset and quite a few of you liked it but many of you in comments section also said that it's all theoretical. What about practical uh, results? And I also thought about that and uh, I thought why not test a device that has the Helio P60 chipset. So I got this Oppo F7. This is running on the Helio P60 chipset but I'm not going to do a normal review or unboxing or stuff like that. What I'm going to do in this video is uh, the p60 claims to do a lot of interesting things uh, for example it has support for true dual 4g volte and we'll also test some of the ai capabilities that it says it has that aids the camera and stuff and i'll also test it with the uh, heavy games to see actually how it performs in real life and lastly i don't believe a lot in benchmarks but we'll also test it out by running benchmarks and i'll compare it with the redmi note 5 uh, pro that is running on the snapdragon 636 chipset and I'll even compare it with the Snapdragon 660 as I have the Nokia 7 Plus. So uh, let's uh, check that out. But before that, here are the specs for the Oppo F7. The Oppo F7 has a 6.23 inch IPS LCD screen in the 19 is to 9 aspect ratio protected by Gorilla Glass 5. It has 6 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM. 6 gigabyte RAM variant comes with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It is a proper dual SIM with a dedicated SD card slot. It is running on the Helio P60 chipset, which is an octa core processor. It is having a Mali G72 GPU and it has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with f1.8 lens and a 25 megapixel front facing camera. It also has a 3400 milliamp hour battery. So guys here have the Oppo F7 uh, diamond and uh, the first thing that we will test is uh, the dual 4G Volte and if you notice it unlocked very fast that's because of the AI face unlock. We'll talk about that later. I'll just block the camera otherwise it will unlock. Okay? And let me actually show you the screen as you can see if you notice here it says Geo 4G and Geo 4G. I've put uh, two Geo sims in them and both of them are active. We'll test that and let me just unlock this device. So this is the device and uh, here is my other phone and we're going to make uh, the call from uh, this one from both the sims to check the Geo 4G Volte functionality. So I'm just going to make a call. I'll just keep it here to make it easier for everyone. Let's zoom the camera and I'm just going to and I'm going to call and I hit this and I'm going to use it the sim 1 first the sim 1 and sim 2 both are geo sims and I'm just going to hit this and uh, this phone should actually ring as you can see I got it and as you can see from the caller id it says my second geo number I'm just going to disconnect that I've disconnected that okay and I'll just close this phone again and uh, I'm now going to dial it from the second sim. First we use the first sim, now we're going to use the second sim. I'm just going to call this same number. It should come. And as you can see, this is from the different uh, sim card. So as you can see, the true dual G, uh, 4G Volte functionality works and uh, it also actually works for incoming calls. I tested that uh, you can get calls on both the GeoSim. So it does support true dual 4G Volte. So that functionality works. And uh, let's also talk about the AI features of the Helio P60 chipset claims that it has uh, AI features and it helps in face unlocking and all those things. This has face unlocking. This also has a fingerprint scanner. But to test this one, we'll just use the face unlocking and uh, you don't have to actually do anything you just pick up the phone and look at it and it unlocks and as you can see it unlocked very very quickly it's very quick let me show you again if i just and it is super super quick this is one of the fastest that i've seen in face unlocking and definitely that uh, what do you say uh, ai features are helping now let me do one thing i'm just going to wear my specs and see if it uh, unlocks and I'm just going to do and again as you can see it unlocked immediately so the AI functionality is helping that in many of the smartphones if you wear specs and stuff it just does unlock quickly but this one as you can see due to that AI it's actually so quick that sometimes I feel it's not uh, working let me show you uh, I won't face the camera like here and I'll move and as you can see the moment I move let's try it again here stand by move it here and it unlocks so even if you're wearing specs and etc i uh, registered it without the specs but even with the specs it works so face unlocking uh, that ai feature is definitely helping and even for the front facing camera this one has a 25 megapixel front facing camera let's look at it uh, it has some ai features let's just go over here and as you can see it auto detects your face and by default it's you notice the i'll take a picture 
it's adding that background blur and stuff here you have that depth effect you have that and it's using the ai and we also have uh, one more mode for this uh, front uh, facing uh, so here if you click here as you can see you can go to this mode that is the artificial intelligence mode and it'll analyze and get the best selfie so uh, they also employ this artificial intelligence in the camera on this uh, smartphone now let's do one more thing let's do some heavy gaming with this phone and let's see how it performs uh, that's a good test for the gpu on this one that's the mali g72 gpu so let's start uh, that and let's uh, first try uh, asphalt extreme and see how it handles it so this is asphalt extreme and guys i'm going to lower the volume because it's very loud and i've set the graphics to the highest setting guys It is very much playable, but I notice a minor uh, lag at times. So as you can see, this is the asphalt uh, extreme. So this is Modern Combat 5 and let's see how it handles this game. And it's running this game fine, I don't notice any lag on this game. So as you can see it's playing this game fine. So this is Asphalt 8 and I've set it to the highest graphics setting. And as you can see it's running fine, I'm doing the drift. Yeah, and yeah, no lag on this one. I don't know we, why we got that slight lag on Asphalt Extreme. But on this one as you can see I'm trying the drift and then also no lag that we are seeing. It's running it very smoothly. And this is a notorious game. Another thing to notice that I've been doing gaming now for more than uh, 10 odd minutes uh, with those three games that we were playing earlier and uh, i don't uh, feel any heat with this device so that's also an interesting thing so let's just get out so the back is also not very hot it's just slightly warm now let's do one more thing i'm not a firm believer in benchmarks but let's uh, 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 check some benchmark scores. I have run uh, ben some benchmark scores and first let's just fire up uh, What do you say? Uh, where is that? Antutu. 2 I had run Antutu 2 on this and first let's compare it uh, with this one and as you can see uh, This is the Redmi Note 5 Pros running Snapdragon 636 chipset and this got a score of 1,12,800 and this is getting a score of 1,39,000 and if you just go over here as you can see uh, the difference in cpu uh, this is definitely more powerful 62000 and uh, uh, this is the gpu score uh, surprisingly in the gpu score also this got a better one uh, the oppo f7 and the ux also better so overall this is having a much uh, uh, higher score as expected but let's also test it with nokia 7 plus which is having the snapdragon 660 chipset and uh, let me show you the antutu scores i ran it earlier and uh, as you can see yes this is having slightly higher scores uh, it is getting the 1 lakh 41 thousand and this is about 1 lakh 39 thousand so roughly about uh, 2000 point difference uh, but not a huge difference as you can uh, see so uh, we can say that the p60 chipset 
is almost uh, close to the Snapdragon 660 and definitely faster than the Snapdragon 636 uh, chipset. Another thing to note is that, uh, as I've told you, this device was not heating that much. Let me actually show you, I like screenshotted that. Let's just go to photos and uh, let me also open this gallery. When I ran the benchmark test, I actually st stored that result. If you go to photo over here, where are the screenshots here? Uh, one more, where are the screenshots? Over here it is. Uh, one thing to note is that the temperature monitor uh, test, when I ran it, notice this one. This is the Oppo F7 running the uh, Helio P16. This was at 26 degrees centigrade. Whereas when I ran this one, uh, this was at 32 degrees centigrade. So as you can clearly see, even when we, this device is stressed, it does not heat up as much as uh, some of the other devices. So as you saw guys, uh, the performance of the Helio P60 is actually really good even in real world situations and stuff like uh, true dual 4G Volti works and also that AI stuff that we saw on the Helio P60 uh, works and aids the camera. Again, if you want to know more about the Helio P60, I have already made a different video. Here is a link for that video. You can check out that for more info. So certainly a very capable uh, chip, I would say. And uh, again, um, I was uh, Googling on Amazon and on Amazon Oppo actually uh, was teasing out uh, this smartphone that is known as the real me that is launching on May 15 and guys I've got some very strong rumors that this uh, device the real me that will be launching on Amazon will be powered by the uh, Helio P60 chipset and if that is true that can be a very interesting thing because another thing that I've heard is that this uh, device will be priced very aggressively to compete with the likes of the Redmi Note 5 Pro etc so I'm hoping that the pricing will be also very aggressive and if that happens uh, it'll be a very interesting device and I'm also looking forward to test out this new Realme device if it comes out with the Helio P60 chipset so guys that's it for now for this video do let me know what do you think about this video and what do you think about the real world performance of the Helio P60 chipset so guys that's it for now for this video and if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys